Inside Princess Beatrice's ex-boyfriend's tragic death as Baby Joy brings, spark of light in tough year. Princess Beatrice is celebrating after it was confirmed she is to be a mother for the second time. It is welcome news for the 36-year-old who has suffered a tough 2024. As well as the ongoing scandal surrounding her father Prince Andrew, and her mother's cancer diagnosis, her ex-boyfriend was discovered dead in a Miami hotel room in April from a drug overdose. Paolo Liuzzo's death came against a backdrop of a struggle with drugs and gambling with reports suggesting he had racked up heavy debts to loan sharks before he died. Beatrice was informed of his death just weeks after the news that her mum Sarah Ferguson had been diagnosed with cancer for a second time. The Duchess of York has already beaten breast cancer, but is now battling skin cancer. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The princess's relationship with Liu Zhou, who worked as an art industry consultant, blossomed in 2005 when she was 17 years old. However, the romance proved brief with Liu Zhou's past causing controversy. In February 2006, he joined Beatrice and her family for a skiing holiday in Verbier, Switzerland. At that point, he had faced a manslaughter charge after a drunken brawl with a student in Massachusetts. Authorities downgraded the charge to assault and battery, which saved Liuzo prison time but required him to perform 100 hours of community service. Despite this, the couple's relationship was said to have been backed by the Duchess of York, who believed Liuzo would learn from his mistakes with someone like Beatrice by his side. However, the media attention didn't bode well for the pair as he was found to have violated his probation terms, which dictated that he travel abroad only for work, and the relationship soon fizzled out. Speaking after his death at the age of 42, a friend of Liuzo said, Paolo was not doing great on a personal level. He loved to party and to gamble. He began using a lot of pharmaceutical drugs at first but that later led to cocaine and harder drugs. It was a very fast lifestyle and we all feared it would catch up with him eventually. Princess Beatrice could be a vintage star in cropped Zara jacket for poignant outing. Prince William's cousin looked fabulous in polka dots. Princess Beatrice made florals her summer staple. But it seems that as we head into the cooler months of autumn, Prince William's cousin, 36, is putting polka dots on her sartorial radar. Prince Andrew's eldest daughter was spotted at an event in London, the BGC Group Charity Day on behalf of Cantor Fitzgerald Relief Fund which raises millions for causes in memory of BGC's colleagues lost on the 11th of September. The BCG Group is a leading global brokerage and financial technology company servicing the financial markets. The princess was spotted looking chic in a black and white dotty dress the Brindisi style from Crida Milano which features a floaty skirt, drawn in waistline, and pie crust collar. The star of the show which defined her silhouette was a brand new cropped jacket from the unexpectedly affordable high street brand Zara. Adding to the royal's vintage aesthetic were a pair of patent Mary Janes. She chose the Camille style from L.K. Bennett, and teamed the fabulous footwear with the safe deposit leather-trimmed PVC pouch from Anya Hindmarch. As ever, Sarah Ferguson's daughter kept her hair and makeup simple. Beatrice wore her auburn locks in beautiful curls which sat over one shoulder and rocked a frosty grey eyeshadow as she posed with TV star Davina McCall. It isn't the first time that Beatrice has swapped her signature florals for polka dot perfection. Zara Tyndall's cousin made an appearance of day five of Royal Ascot in 2022 in a black and white Saloni loader dress. The ankle-skimming dress featured puff sleeves and large bows adorning the bodice. She teamed the crepe silk dress with black suede pumps and a Philip Tracy hat. Beatrice isn't the only royal to dazzle in dots. The Princess of Wales was mesmerizing in a spotty Alessandra rich dress with long sleeves and a fitted cut at the Order of the Garter service at St. George's Chapel in 2023. The princess has also been known to wear polka dots to Wimbledon, 
including in 2022 in the form of a belted blue Alessandra rich dress with capped toe heels. The OG royal style icon the late Princess Diana wore a near-identical outfit to her daughter-in-law's Garter Day look in 1988 at Royal Ascot in the form of a Victor Edelstein dress and Frederick Fox hat. Also, the King has requested that the Duke of York move out of the Royal Lodge and into a smaller property, with Frogmore Cottage seen as the most likely option. However, Beatrice and Eugenie could be dragged into the royal feud if Andrew decides to pass down the lease. Speaking on the podcast, Svar said, There are reports that Andrew intends to pass on his lease to Beatrice, and Eugenie even after he dies. Now, whether that's something Beatrice and Eugenie would be interested in, is a completely different topic. They're very settled and also, it would involve them being dragged into this royal feud. But if that is his intention, then it means he's planning to see out his time at Royal Lodge and then create a further headache for King Charles in this messy feud. Andrew is said to have refused to budge and is under no obligation to vacate the Royal Lodge with over five decades remaining on the lease he signed in 2003. The Duke of York is believed to have originally wanted to pass the lease to his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, who currently lives at the Royal Residence with him, but he is unable to do so due to a clause in the agreement with the Crown Estate. Cameron added, the other issue might be because the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, his ex-wife, also lives within Royal Lodge. And moving from a 30-bedroom house into a cottage where you might be, you know, kind of in the same room or forced to be kind of in the same lounge all the time. Will that cause issues? I guess we'll find out. The lease has 54 years remaining on it and Andrew plans to honor the terms of the agreement. Currently, the Duke of York hopes to bequeath the lease to Princess Beatrice, and Princess Eugenie. This would mean that they can use the property after his death for the remaining years of the agreement. Prince Andrew is being depicted by actor Michael Sheen in a new drama insisting on being asked about his Princess Beatrice alibi during his Newsnight interview. A very royal scandal, due to drop on Amazon Prime next month, tells the story of the Duke of York's 2019 interview with Emily Maitlis from her perspective, as she is serving as the executive producer. Unlike Scoop, the 2024 Netflix film about the Newsnight interview, this version will be told from Maitlis's perspective across three separate episodes. When the cameras stop filming, his private secretary, Amanda Thirsk, could be seen running over to him. She said, Sir, the alibis, you didn't mention those. I do think it would be advisable to have those included. The Duke then told Maitlis, played by Ruth Wilson, you didn't ask me about my alibis as discussed, the sweating and my visit to Pizza Express. First, played by Joanna Scanlon, added, I must insist that we include these details, they are material to His Royal Highness's defense. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.